the 19 year old sensation. I like what we did here. I like big bucks. <laughs> that right there, guys. Raising the comedic bar per usual. But look at these guys across the board. I mean, they could hold hands and stretch the length of the floor. Look at the wingspans on these guys between Sean Maker, Jabari Parker. I mean, come on. Look at this. <laughs> Hey, hey, Clark, that's I mean, just looking at of, looking at those guys, inches, even boy. though Michael Carter Williams, if he so be, still be there, uh, you talk about, you just switch everything. Yeah, but I mean, again, positionless basketball, Smitty, we talk about it, and this team, from a length standpoint, would certainly have the ability to do that and wreak havoc. Now, can it produce wins consistently? We'll find out, but that length is useful. I mean, again, when you're playing multiple, um, you're playing multiple small ball teams, You've got guys that are at different positions. It's helpful when you can actually switch because of that length that you have. You do mention that positionless basketball. Do you think that we'll see potentially more of the Greek freak, Giannis Antetokounmpo, at that true point guard position now? I think so. It seems like they're committed to doing that. Jason Kidd was one of the very best of all time as a point guard, thinks like a point guard, sees the floor. If anybody could help um, Antetokounmpo become proficient in the thinking role of a point guard, I think – Jason Kidd would be your guy. So I, see, I think it's a worthwhile experiment. Why not? The kid handles the ball. He's mm -hmm. long, can put a lot of different kind of pressure on the opposing defense. I say see if it, if it works. And it looked like it was starting to work a little bit last year, I thought. They were doing a good job. And Chris Middleton was the guy as a two guard, was, ha was guard most of the point guard. So I think go. it's a work in progress. But I think it's worked out. And Giannis, very unselfish. And now you throw Thon Maker, that can be a – facilitator at the center spot at 7-1. <laughs> so they have, and Jason Kidd, like Clark said, ha they have the guy that can help them become a better point guard and make a decisions on the offensive end. This is going to be defensive. Exactly. That's, where, that's where it has to happen. Yes. How about Malcolm Brogdon, a guy taken at 36 out of Virginia? Do you think potentially he's a second-round steal? Oh, yeah. No no doubt about it. I mean, this first one, this is, a, this is a guy, when you look at him and watch him play, you say 12, 13-year NBA vet producing – consistent and helping you win basketball games. That's all I see in him in terms of his character, his game, everything efficient, nothing forced, everything solid fundamentally and tough minded and physically. Smitty, you know how much that means when you're talking about winning on a regular basis, and he'll be a tremendous asset to that Bucks team. In my I mean, estimation. Clark, another kid from the Atlanta area that I got a chance to see, he's one of those kids on the court, Clark said it, fantastic, off the court, he could be the next president. I mean, that is Malcolm Bobby. He is quality, character, everything above.